keep Christ church clean from demonism and witchcraft keep Christ church clean from demonism and witchcraft the Bible tells us what the church of Christ should be in fact what it is from the beginning in first Timothy chapter 3 verse 15 first Timothy chapter 3 verse 15 but if I tarry long that thou mayest know how thou oughtest to behave thyself in the house of God which is the church of the living God the pillar and ground of the truth the house of God is the church of the living God. The pillar and ground of the truth. The house of the president, that is the presidential palace or villa as we call it in Nigeria, is kept secure. The soldiers are keeping watch of it to ensure no stranger, no contrary persons stand by it, come to it, stay there, live around. So, why? Because they want to secure the place, to keep it clean from the evil man. The evil man may be sent to assassinate the president. The evil man might be sent to study the place, to go and organize attack against it. And so, there is keen attention paid to such a place by security men to ensure it is clean of evil. How much more the house of God, the house of the living God, the church of God, attention must be paid in the church to ensure no evil man has come to the church to pollute it no evil woman has come to the church to pollute it. No, no demon has come in through man or through woman to destroy the church of Christ. Yes, in the book of Songs of Solomon, Songs of Solomon, the Bible tells us in chapter 2 verse 15 take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vines have tender grapes the church of God is tender sensitive to sin. Sin can spoil it. Sin can corrupt the church. And the foxes can bring this sin into it. The foxes can bring sin to the church. Which are these foxes? The evil spirits. Demons demonized men demonized women witchcraft 
can end up the church. We are crying in this generation because of what witchcraft has done to the churches of Christ worldwide. We are saying which church is free? Even the churches that are known for holiness have collapsed. They have been weakened by witchcraft, by forces of witchcraft, by powers of witchcraft, de demonism. Yes. That's what is happening. And because of that, righteousness could not be there anymore. They have subdued it. They have tactically br brought righteousness to the dust. The men of righteousness have been affected. The women of righteousness have been affected. Even the children that are born, the young ones that are growing up, they affect them with witchcraft such that when they grow up in the church, they are witches and wizards but will take over the leadership of the church because there's no one else. And they are not known. They now have to, be, to become the pastors, the leaders in the church, putting the church in their hand. We were somewhere, and the Lord revealed a particular church there that they had their witchcraft meeting even on Sunday afternoon during worship. Why? Only one man among them is not a witch. So, they can, make, they can manipulate that man and uh, go into their meeting. That is how it is. Yes, God spoke to us of a prominent holiness, a holiness church. He said, demons have gone in there and corrupted those churches, that church. And they are now looking to holiness movement. To come to holiness movement, to corrupt it, beware. But one thing the Lord said is, I should tell them, those satanic agents, that it's not possible in holiness environment. So, I am announcing to you by the voice of the creator, that this movement, you can't pull it down. It's not possible. It will not work. You will be discovered. All of you will be discovered. Amen. 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 From the west, from the east, from the north, from the south, from the central, and from outside. They will not succeed. Amen. So, but then we must be conscious, very conscious of the possibilities of these things, these forces these personalities and these agents the house of god is the pillar and the ground of the truth it is the place of his holiness yes and it's also the house of prayer the workers in the church should be clean from sin and satan i said church where two or three are gathered together in my name, uh, there am I in the midst of them. Church. Christ gave himself for the church. So the church is the body of Christ. And so we are the church. Because we are the body of Christ. But some will say, no, you don't worship on Sunday." That's not what makes a church. What makes a church is salvation. Faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Righteous walk with the Lord. Yes, that's what makes a church. Where two people are gathered sincerely in the name of the Lord. Two people that know the Lord. They are a church. Because they are each a member of of the body of Christ. Hence, holiness, revival, movement is a church, but not 
a denominational church. Amen? Amen. So, there's nothing wrong that they ask you, which church do you belong to? I belong to where? That is the church you belong to. It's not because we don't worship on Sunday, then we're not a church. No, we are a body of Christ. If we say we are not a church, then we are what? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, we are interdenominational church. We are a non-denominational church. Yes. And God commands that we keep his church clean from witchcraft and demonism. You can see many, many assemblies are practicing things that are of the devil. Ye are of your father the devil. What do they do? They use water there. They bring water to make the people drink. That's a practice of the devil. And so they manipulate this water to bring miracles for them. Yes, the, 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 the staff or the rods of the magician or magicians of Egypt brought snakes. That was powerful. So if they can use water to bring miracles, wasn't manufacturing snakes from, from, uh, is from sticks a miracle? It was. Some are, are, carrying, are carrying anointing oil about. Their own is to be anointing people with oil never practiced in the, old, in the New Testament. That the assemblies of Christ should be putting anointing oil in their houses or in the church. Everybody come, we will be anointing you. We have never seen that. And as a result, various kinds of oil are gotten, some are gotten from Calabar here to, be, to, to anoint people, give people to drink, to do whatever, witchcraft, demonism. And others use many things. Use handkerchief. They put on, they, they share handkerchief. And uh, I say, everybody take handkerchief. And uh, it is anointed handkerchief. Use it to touch your own handkerchief and then anoint yourself with it. Amen? Demonism. Others use uh, apron. No, this apron, cover yourself with it. Bullet will not enter you. Cover yourself with it. Witches will not see you. Cover, your, cover a sick person with it. He will be healed. Demonism. Others talk about many other things. Okay, let's come forward and come backward. Demonism. So, God wants us not to bring this corruption to his church. You who came from where anointing oil is working, don't bring them here. Don't be carrying them about as you were carrying them about over there. Yes, it's, the Bible gives provision. Is anyone sick? Let him call for the elders and let them anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. It's not a rampant case for a sickness that will call for the elders. Not you going to the elders. It shows that sickness is a heavy one. It's not just mere headache. It's not just mere pain in your leg. It's not just mere stomach ache. Because you, your pastor is a person of dignity. The elders are persons of dignity and reverence. For you to call a man to come all over from where? Some kilometers away to your house. He should not come and see you eating food on the table. As the pastor said, there, there, I'm coming. Let me finish eating food. Is it the man that is calling pastor to come? For, from far distance for him. And when you finish eating for her, yes, you call me for what? He said, Pastor, I noticed that this my this my finger is shaking. I don't know what it is make you to be shaking like that. <laughs> it's to abuse Christianity. But it it has to be a sickness that you are lying down. 
Because the Bible says, the prayer of faith shall heal the sick. Um, is that clear? He and shall raise him up. He was lying down. He has been overwhelmed by the sickness. So anointing oil is not a common thing you'll be caring about. That's pollution. And as a result, demons have entered into that business. It has multiplied. So such ones should not be brought to our church. To the holy church. Water, no. It's not something here. Apron, no. It's not here. What other thing? Oh, sand, salt, stone, broom, eh? Pe writing pen too. Egg. Oh, Cain to Cain Satan. I'm telling you, all those things are the practice of demonism. Because of this ignorance, Satan takes over. For my people perish for lack of knowledge. Satan takes over. And really we start using it. So that you would think it is God that is there. But one thing it is has achieved something great. It has turned your faith from Jesus. To objects that do not have blood. Objects that are not the sacrifice for your soul. Your eyes have turned from Jesus. And when the eyes of Peter turned from Jesus, what happened to him? That, those things have made Christianity to sink. That's why you can't find Christianity again. You can't find it in many quarters. They have sunk. Because they have gone after objects for miracles. They have gone after that. They have gone after witchcraft. Witchcraft. Something about witchcraft, let me let it known to you. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 13. How by use of witchcraft, a man can be carefully removed from Jesus. Because of the subtlety of the devil. The cunningness of Satan. Look at it in chapter 6, I mean chapter 13, verse 6. Acts of Apostles, chapter 13, verse 6, the Bible says, And when they had gone through the isle unto Paphos, they found a certain sorcerer, a false prophet, a Jew, whose name was by Jesus, which was with the deputy of the country, Sergius Paulus, a prudent man, who called for Barnabas and Saul and desired to hear the word of God. But Elimas, the sorcerer, for, he, for so is his name by interpretation, withstood them, seeking to turn away the deputy from the faith. He is a, is a sorcerer. He is a witch. Is a witch. He was taking care of this man by witchcraft, by the powers of witchcraft. And so when this man wanted to hear the word of God, he, he wanted to block it. The demon in him wanted to block it. So he was using various cunning methods, various cunning approach, wise approach, subtle approach that it takes a man of God to design those things. It takes a man exercised in God, in righteousness and in the spirit to design those things. And Paul designed them. How did he address them? He said in verse 10, then verse 9 and 10. Then Saul, who is called Paul, also called Paul, filled with the Holy Ghost, set his eyes on him and said, Oh, full of subtlety, with cunning wisdom. Now, the serpent was more subtle than all the beasts the Lord has made in the field. Subtle. Lest the devil beguile you through his subtlety. That's, there is a kind of a wisdom, cunning wisdom of evil. 
intelligence of evil that is exercised by witches and wizards. Intelligence. And they use various means imploring demonic power to cause some things to happen to your surprise. If you're not careful, you will never know that somebody did that thing. You will be thinking that it happened by itself. You may even be thinking that God did it. You may be thinking that it is by chance. You may think away. But Paul knew it. All full of all subtlety and mischief. They are full of mischief. They thought are evil continually. What do I do to cause failure? What do I do to weaken somebody here? What do I do to weaken the preacher? What do I do to affect the system? How do I do it to cause this one to backslide? How do I do to make this one sick? How do I do it that he should be blind? If he's not going to be blind today, let him be blind after one year. How, who will know that I am the one? Nobody will know that I am the one. They knew how to do subtlety and all mischief. And that's what Paul was speaking about, these witches and wizards. He said, thou child of the devil, directly child of the devil, directly children of the devil, children of Belial. That's what the word addressed them. Yes, Jesus, a year of your father, the devil. Yes, and the works of your father you will do. And because they are children of the devil, their own aim is how to spoil things, how to destroy things. How, where must there be success? Where must there be progress? Where must there be advancement? Where must, there, where must this thing happen? Where must it be this man? Where must it be this woman? No, it will not be. No, it will not be. That is oh, full of all mischief. Thou child of the devil. Thou enemy of all righteousness. You will see them doing righteousness, but they're enemies of it. They're enemies. Boko Haram in Nigerian army going to fight other Boko Haram. Is that true? Can that happen? No. Will they be faithful? No. In the war, whom will they find fighting? They'll be fighting the Nigerian army. It's, it's our wisdom that put us into the Nigerian army. It's wisdom that brought us there. To, that gets us recruited. It's part of the wisdom. Politicians employ people to join other op op opposite party. The party of the opponent. And be feeding them with information. So these are the things that affected the church. Oh Lord Jesus. Not here. May the Lord release plagues. Judgments. To take over such ones. In Jesus name. We have invested much for eternal life. We have left all for eternal life. Where must we not go to heaven? Because witches and wizards and Satan has blocked it. Why? With all this effort we are making, with all this prayer, with all these restitutions you are doing, we must have the victory over them. Yeah. Enemies of all righteousness. He is a pastor, but he is against pastoring. He is opening the Bible and is preaching from it. But he is against the Bible. Can you see to a powerful, uh, conflicted man? He's against the Bible. He is against what he's telling you. So his plan is, how do I tell them this and cancel it? It's like a man. You worked for him. And he gave you money. But he's not happy that you have his money. What do I do to seize this money from this person? I gave him my money. Although he worked for me, but I'm not happy. So he called somebody on phone. Can you wait on that road junction and operate as, a, as, a, an, as an arm robber? This one has this amount. This one has this amount. This one has this amount. Collect all of them. Organize TV and collect all. 
But he gave them the money. And as he was giving them, he wished them good. But he arranged thieves to clear up all the money. That's, that's evil. Subtlety. How will you connect that with him? So, that is what the Lord is telling us. So, God commands activity of witchcraft not to pr be practiced in his church. Many of the miracles they're doing in various churches are witchcraft. Demonism. They bury things in the pulpit. They hang things at the door. Their members are so arrested that even if the pastor sleeps with a man's wife, the man will still be an elder to that pastor. He's not happy by that. He can't live. I've been arrested by witchcraft. I'm telling you. So that's what they're going about doing. Telling them they have put some things in their mouth, <laughs> some powers that whatever they say, the people believe. Whatever they say, the people will just believe. Yes, a man came over to Boko in Ben Wested to organize a program. We call it evangelism program. Oh, he gathered churches together. He gathered churches together to do it. So it was revival. Yes. And the center was Deeper Life Bible Church in Boko. Because he knows the people there are sincere. And he knows they're ignorant too. He knows what to do. So, and he said, uh, we, we, uh, it's on Thursday we shall be collecting, raising up money for the ministry, for the work of God. It's non-denominational. On Thursday, I think somebody came from Aqua Ebom here, well loaded with demon to that place. And then the man spoke wonderfully and said, now we are raising money for the ministry. Yes, you have two million. Can you come here? People jump up, jump up. People are coming with two million. Yes, you, you can give one million, 1 1.5. Yes, where are you? Uh, you come. Okay, can you? All right, we have come down to 700. Okay. Eight, uh, this man, the, the pastor of Deeper Life there, he was telling me this himself. He saw his members coming up for heavy money. He said, our general superintendent is coming here. I pleaded. I said, give money. You people will not give anything reasonable. So this man, what are you giving the money for? Which program is this? The people were just coming. Until he saw that his wife also appeared. I said, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> it is power. Amen? When they finished this thing, he called his overseer in the headquarters. Sir, mar marvelous things are happening here. My people are giving out their money. These people have raised millions. I have tried to raise something for the general, overseer, general superintendent for the program that he's coming to do now in just, I think within one month. The people are not giving well. In fact, I realized only 800,000. But these people are coming and getting millions here. So these people have millions in their houses. They st he said, stop them. Now the people said, eh, please, if you don't have to give it now, just we are going to be in this hotel, be giving us there. Just go and be giving us there. He struggled they, or as he received the authority to stop them from giving those people. He struggled, struggled. Only few he was able to stop them. Witchcraft. Witchcraft in the church. Demonism. In the church, the people get intoxicated. They get inspired in a wrong way. They have taken drugs. They have taken demonic drugs. And they are acting in drugs. Act of witchcraft can cause commotion in a church. Everybody is against, the, against, maybe against the pastor, against anybody, against what? Noise everywhere. It started by one man. That blow the air of witchcraft on you. Your understanding changed. You can't reason well. What are you doing? You're destroying your Christianity. Hey, no. Why must he do like this? 
Oh, you yourself, how do you see? Yes, it's like you don't know you're drunken with witchcraft power. Not here. God, those things shall not walk in a holy place. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 18, I read verse 9 to verse 13. Deuteronomy, chapter 18, verse 9 to 18. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you anyone that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Verse 13, everybody, one, two, go. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. I have given you a holy church. I have brought revival to you. Now, don't do according to the abominations of these churches that corrupted themselves. And I withdrew my presence from among them. Let there be no person among you that will be using charm will be going to meet with any other man to divine for him. Tell me the will of God in marriage or whatever. Let there be no man that should go and consult with familiar spirits. Let no man among you respect what they say, my late father came to me. My late mother came to me. And it's divining. Oh, my father said he will be coming to me tomorrow. Oh, I am going to meet with somebody to consult my late father. To consult my late mother. Or oh, my uncle. Let nobody do those things among you. Let no man do enchantment. You are not baptized with the Holy Ghost. You started speaking. Chuck, chuck, chuck. What are you doing? You're doing enchantment. Let nobody do enchantment among you. That's what God is commanding. Nobody. Those things are abomination. Let no man pass his children through fire. Say, they're cooking my children because the atmosphere, I mean, or rather the society is so wicked. I must cook them and you bring herbalists to be putting some things into your children making them eat and drink evil because of protection. No man in the church should do that. No man. Let no man. Such is an abomination unto the Lord your God. That's what the Lord is saying. Such is an ob abomination or observer of times. Necromancer. Whatever that thing is, don't do these acts of witchcraft. Don't consult with fortune tellers. I'm traveling to Lagos. I'm traveling to America. I'm traveling to London. I'm traveling to where? To Israel. I'm traveling. How do you look at How is my journey? That is abomination. I'm telling you, abomination is evil, is dirty. It makes you to be sitting upon your own excreta. And people will be, and people see you sitting on excreta. It makes you to be eating your excreta in this in a public place. People, people who see it will abandon you. It's an abomination before the Lord. It's wickedness. It's evil. Going to collect charm.
putting charm in your pocket, putting charm in your cloth, putting charm in your waist, putting charm in your head tie, inside your hair, and tying it, tying it on your leg, putting rings in your hands, and their charms. Of course, nobody should be putting ring here, whether charm or no charm, is on godliness. Because the Bible said, not of God. They are impurity. Remove those things from you. Whether uh, I'm married, you're married, it's God that God has given you married, we know it. People will know it. It's not ring that will tell us. It's not, the Bible says there's no voice that has no significance. There's no any tree that does not have significance. It's only you have not known the significance. The significance of that thing you have not known, but somebody will just come and say, This thing here, that tree, there is very important. We have been looking for it in our place. Wow, ah, that thing it can cure stomach ulcer. He said, But I didn't know about it. So, all these things you're putting on the earring, the rings, the chains they have their significance in the spiritual realm. You are not aware, but that you are not aware doesn't mean they don't have their significance. That doesn't mean they don't play. A particular pastor, one of the coordinators, of course, he had been a coordinator for some time. He gave a testimony because when he came to holiness movement and heard that the using the use of jewelry, he was a pastor himself. The use of jewelry, the use of this was evil. At that time, he had a precious necklace that he was using. Is it necklace? Yes, very precious for him. And uh, but having read the word, having understood the word, he became convinced that he would remove it. So one day he removed it in his room. He removed it from his head and thrust it in the uh, waste paper, paper basket. Then in the night, a woman walked in in his dream and went to that waste paper basket and picked the necklace and walked away to his shock. I didn't, I, one, I didn't buy this necklace as a charm. No. I bought it in the market, normal. Uh -uh. And I've been a pastor for many years. With necklace in my neck, I've been praying, oh Jesus, Jesus, visit us with revival. Power, power over Satan. And this necklace remained a property of Satan. To the point that when I knew the word of God and threw it away, a, ma a mermaid, queen of the coast, traced his house. They are watching that ring from the sea. Those earrings in your ears, they are watching them from the sea, from a distant place. If you remove them for your good, otherwise you will never make heaven. They are properties of the devil. So let no one be putting on anything or any dress that is like a charm, like the apron that they are some people are putting on. Don't do that. Don't put on apron. It is sin. Don't put on apron. It is sin. Don't collect their own handkerchiefs. Don't collect it. Don't put your confidence in handkerchiefs. Don't. Your confidence should be on Jesus alone. The miracle done by handkerchief was in Paul's time. Limited to Paul. Barnabas didn't do it. Peter didn't do miracle through handkerchief and aprons. Jesus didn't do it. It was an uncommon miracle that can come once in a while and disappear. So don't become, don't go and serve idols by putting your eyes on those things. They are idol worship. Any book. Some use calendar. Some say, ah, this book. In fact, if you just lay hand on this book, it, whatever you're looking for, that's why when this girl in Potak, I mean, uh, Cross River, what's her name? Kate. Wanted to make holiness movement an idol. We rebuke her and cast her out of holiness movement. 
that just say a holy i am a member of holiness revival movement jesus will answer you who told you then satan can get his sins forgiven by just saying i am a member of holiness revival movement is that what you mean so these are all this idolatry all those types of words dreams are from satan they're not from god i must be put away our ways must be clean by the scripture we must verify everything revelations all that's why all the, most people that prophesy are women most pro women that prophesy are in are under witchcraft take it as i've said to you so eh, who, 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 jesus oh you have seen a witch And that's what they, are, they want to show themselves. They want, I'm going to show it to you. People want to show themselves. Check it very well. If you have received a message, go and meet the leader to examine your message, to check your message that everything must be done decently and in order. And not that you, want, you, want to, you are seeking recognition. You want to influence people. You are using power. You want everybody to gather around you and say, ah, if you want anything, go and see, mommy, this one, mommy, Cecilia, mommy, Miriam, mommy, who again? So, these are things the Lord says, don't do it. For all that do these things are an abomination. Do what? The Consult with familiar spirits. Those things, familiar spirits. Those type of people prophesy by familiar spirits. What again? Or oh, wizard. These are mean. Wizard. Or oh, necromancer. Witches. Of all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Have you not heard that we drive away witches and wizards? Have you heard? Yeah. Have you heard? Yeah. It is God that is driving them away. It's not man. Look at it in scripture. For because of these things, these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out. From before you, you are seeing like this. It's God that is doing it. It's no man. It's not the international director. No, it's God that is driving away witches and wizards. Because he said, this is my movement. And he has said, go and tell them. That they have destroyed these other churches and are coming to holiness movement, they will not succeed. Yeah. That's why he's arresting them and is getting them out. Everywhere within Nigeria, outside Nigeria, anywhere which is found, a witch is a witch. A mango tree is a mango tree. Whether in Akwaibom or in Calabar or in Abuja or in Lagos, Everybody say, a mango tree is a mango tree. A mango tree is a mango tree. Therefore, wherever you find mango tree, you can eat. But wherever you find witch, drive out. Amen? Amen. That is the word of God. You are offended? <laughs> Jesus died for a church. You want to come and spoil it? Except that you want to do work for your master. So that your master will praise you. You and your master, you will suffer. Again, now let's see the witchcraft of Simon the sorcerer. In Acts of Apostles. Acts of the Apostles chapter 8. I read from verse 9. Yes. Yeah. From verse 9, we can continue up to verse 23. It goes. But there was a certain man called Simon. Which before time in the same city used sorcery. 
and bewitched the people of Samaria, giving out that himself was some great one, to whom they all gave heed, from the least to the greatest, saying, this man is the great power of God. And to him they had regard, because that of a long time he had bewitched them with sorceries. But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wondered, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Now, let's look at this man. Simon the sorcerer. Yes. What can we see about him here? Sorcery. He used satanic mystery mysteries sorcery he was in contact with satan and used the power of satan sorcery he was trained in evil in mischief sorcery he was empowered to walk against righteousness Sorcery. He was empowered with the spirit of deception. Sorcery. Manipulation. He can manipulate. You cannot understand how it happened. Sorcery. And by this sorcery, he bewitched a whole city. What a congregation is a small thing for a witch. I see the whole city of Samaria. The whole. And became a power to be reckoned with. To the point that they considered him the power of God. In fact, the great power of God. Sorcery. The subtlety of the devil. We know that any time we wanted to catch God... We give some food, some grass for it to eat. We pour it there. As it's eating, we're coming closer with the grass. Eat now. It's grass I'm giving to you. But you're getting ready to catch it. We know that if we want to catch chicken, and we don't want to run, it's just to put, throw some greens before it into the room. As it picks, yes, be going. And you stand innocent. <laughs> so it is eaten yes it is eaten hey, my landlord has done me good today until it enters into the room before you know it it is two of you in the room you have closed the door so I'm telling you this is what these people do bewitchment casting spell upon people casting spell some will say when you see me cleaning the chairs I'm just enchanting on that chair anybody who sits here shall not hear and understand the word of God anybody who sits in this place he shall catch sickness anybody I'm, it's a deadly thing the Lord said these people should not be here you hear it's either to go peacefully or angels will force them it's evil. It's evil. You are against the work of God. That are there witches also that want true repentance? Well, uh, well, let me ask you the question. Are there witches and wizards that are looking for true repentance? Eh? Oh, some. I want to hear their testimony. Those who need it. Or those who have gotten it already. We need their testimonies. Amen? Amen. So they can help other people. In Jesus' name. Amen. So, bewitchment. Bewitching a family. 
they should not have children. Bewitching a woman, she should not marry. Bewitching a man, he will not succeed in school. Bewitching somebody, he is always sleeping, just sleeping, just sleeping, so that he cannot, he can't prosper in Christianity. So, these are acts of witchcraft. Yes, controlling the people. The whole Samaria, city of Samaria, was under his control. He has exalted himself. So what I am saying is, they will do good to you. There are some charms for good. That's what they will tell you. God has put us here to be helping people. You know, the world is terrible. If you, in fact, we have been the one protecting the people. Otherwise, they want to be killing people. From the same source, protection. From the same source, destruction. From the same source, is a good person. From the same source, is a bad person. Can or a pond of water bring forth both sweet and bitter waters? But they will deceive you. They will deceive you. And say, this one will help you. This one is for good. Therefore, every product, be they what? Check them very well. We do not refuse traditional medicine. They are the, they, they are the things God created. Oh, use mangoes, use guava, use this to take malaria away. Fine, if it works. It's not evil. But make sure no demon is attached to it. Make sure it is not a thing that maybe the man who is giving you this thing says, uh, when you are going to pluck the mango, go backward, go backward. Eh? Make sure it has nothing to do with demonism. Righteousness should be there. And pray well on all substances, on all foods. So check well to ensure no evil is in your way. All those plants that you plant around your house, what are they for? Are there some plants there to ward away witches and wizards? Are there some plants there that say in the night your house will be like an ocean? That is witchcraft. That is witchcraft. Put these things off from your life and from the church of God. Yes, I want you to know that all the forces of witchcraft, all of them are subject to the power of God. None, none is above God's power. All of them, all are under control by the power of God. Then, why don't you labor for the superior power? Why don't you labor for the superior power? Why are you wasting time on the menial power that will trash it like that it vanishes away? Why don't you get the superior one, the one on top? He that is from above is above all. The one that comes from above. Look for it. That is where power is. That's what we want to tell you. Yes. Simon had desire for power. That's the problem of these people. And that's the problem of your life. You want power to command. You want power to make business succeed. You want power that when you stand before a man, whatever you say, he will agree. I'm going for interview. That's why they say you should put anointing oil in your tongue. Witchcraft in the church. Put anointing oil in your tongue. Rub anointing oil in your hands. Whomsoever you shake will be under you. That's power. That's what Simon said. Give me this Holy Ghost power also. Desire for power. So that they can be in control. So that everybody will bow to them. Give it to little children. Oh, they will kill everybody for you. Yes. They will do every harm. Because he does like that. Eh, you see this thing happening. Hey, so I can do it. Yes. Hey, yes, I can do it. Yes. Okay. What? Oh, bring your mother. You will do it more. So may God destroy witchcraft in your family. That's what God is saying. 
But then, I want you to note something. The Bible tells us in that Acts of Apostles, chapter 8, verse 12, yes, to 13. But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Verse 13, everybody, one, two, go. Then Simon himself believed also. And when he was baptized, he continued with Philip and wonder, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. Let's examine Simon. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized, what will happen to him? Uh, it shows Simon was saved. Is that clear? It shows Simon was saved. Witches can be saved when they believe in the gospel of Christ with all their heart. When they believe in the name of Jesus, witches can be saved. Even top ones, great witches, the ones that say we are in level 999, they can be saved. The ones that are queen of the coast, that have gone to that rank, they can be saved. The ones that are higher than that, they can be saved. If they believe in the name of the Lord Jesus. If they give their lives to the Lord Jesus. I am saying you can be saved. God can forgive you. With all the acts of Simon. He killed human beings. He drank the blood of human beings. He ate human beings. He killed more than one. He killed ten. He taught other people how to kill human beings. He gave charms how to make people blind. He did what? Atrocities. A whole city being under him. Yet, when he heard the gospel of Jesus and was convicted, God forgave him. That's what we want from you now. Believe. And stop that thing. Believe. You have been there since you were born. It was. You were introduced to it right in your womb. In the womb of your mother. But you can believe. They were even confusing and saying whether you are a demon yourself. In fact even you yourself say. Is it that I am a demon? But as I am preaching. Are you understanding the preaching? Check up. As I am preaching, are you feeling convicted? Check up. If you are understanding, if you are convicted, are you wishing to be saved? No demon wishes to be saved. That you are wishing to be saved, you are not a demon. I say you are not a demon. Yeah. Then you can believe in the Lord Jesus. You can submit to Jesus. You can turn away and accept Jesus. You will be forgiven. Your life will change. There's a great change since I'm born again. There's a great change since I'm born again. There's a great change since I'm born again. There's a great change. Since I'm born again, the things I used to do, the places I used to go, the things I used to drink, because there's a great change since I'm born. You are born again.
Now, Simon could then have been born again. But as we continue, we notice the problem with Simon, which is the problem with many people today. Many who came to Christ. Now, verse 14. And when the apostles, which were at Jerusalem, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent unto them Peter and John, who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. We don't know the distance of time. It was not the following day. It took time. For as yet, he was falling upon none of them. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. By the instruction of the Lord Jesus. According to the formula Jesus gave, which is in Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Verse 17. Then laid they their hands on them, and they received the Holy Ghost. Something had happened for the gap. Simon had gone back to sin. Simon had gone back to sorcery. Simon had gone back to demonism. Simon had gone back to witchcraft. He couldn't receive it freely, so he wanted to buy with money. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given, he offered them money, saying, Give me also this power for commercial purpose. Give me also this power that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Ghost. And Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee. Because thou hast taught that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness. And pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. He had gone back to sin. <clears throat> now, why? Why did Simon, who believed the name of Jesus and was baptized, and according to the pronouncement of the scripture, was saved, why did he go back to the bond of iniquity? Why did he go back again to his sorcery? And in sorcery and in witchcraft, they buy power from place to place. Oh, that man has power to do this. That man has power to do this. They buy it. So he wanted to buy power here. What happened? The reason is what happens to your life. That's why your witchcraft came back. Simon never confessed it to the apostles. That I have been practicing witchcraft. There are things I have done that I needed prayer and help. He didn't tell them. Why? I'm sure Simon was proud because everybody in the city knows me. How will I come and be behaving like a fool here? Simon never confessed his, the depth of his sin to the apostles. So that they would have counseled him. They would have given him special attention. He didn't. Number two, Simon never destroyed the properties of witchcraft and demons with him. Those properties of witchcraft that he had, the one he swallowed into his stomach, the number of snakes that are there, the ones that are in his eyes, 
Simon didn't reveal them, didn't come, didn't reveal those property. While in the Acts of Apostles, look at it in Acts chapter 19. Acts chapter 19, verse 18. The Bible says, And many that believed came and confessed and showed their deeds. Simon didn't do this. They believed as Simon believed. They were witches as Simon was, was a witch. They were sorcerers as Simon was a sorcerer. They came and confessed. And showed what they had done. But you have not confessed. You have not showed what Satan used you to do. See it again in verse 19. And many of them also, which use curious arts, brought their books together and burnt them before all men. And they counted the price of them and found it 50,000 pieces of silver. Great sum. You didn't bring your own. The one that you just enchanted, 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 it appeared under your pillow. You didn't bring it out. You didn't bring it out. And yes, since you didn't bring it out, that demon came back because our property is in your hand. Carry the young of an animal, a sheep, a goat, and be going with it. What will happen to the mother? It will follow you. Because his, her property is in your hand. Carry that young one and put it in your pillow and lock the door. Where will the mother go? You will drive her and become tired. Because you will run. She will be running around the house. She will be running around the house. And when you are gone, back to that house. Because the young is crying in your house. That God will sleep there. I want to, whether I will say forever. It will go and eat grass and come back there. That's why we are not able to drive away the devil from your life. You have not confessed him. You have not shot his deeds. You have not revealed his properties to be destroyed. You are, as you remain, and now you are in Christ. Simon now was looking for Holy Ghost baptism. What was the Holy Ghost power to do in his life? To make him a charismatic witchcraft. Charismatic witch preacher. And that is what others are doing. Do they really have the Holy Ghost? But they have power to be, and with God, they mix the whole thing together and move. So the reason why you are still in witchcraft, your name has not been removed from the, from the book of death. You are still in hell. You are, you are already among those in hell now. The reason why you have not come out is because you have not revealed the devil. You have not confessed your works. You have not released those property that belong to him. You are still ashamed to make yourself clear because of Jesus. He said, no, I'm ashamed. So Jesus is still ashamed of you before his father. There is no amount of prayer anybody will pray for you. When you come and want us to pray, uh, pastor, pray for me. What happened? The type of dreams I find myself dreaming. Is it dream? I say, is it dream? You are adding lie to it. You are of your father, the devil. When he speaketh a, a lie, he speaketh of himself. Because he is, the, he is a liar. And who again? The father of it. You are not telling us the truth. When you come to look for prayer, you are not telling us the truth. And God is the God of truth. 
Jesus says, I am the truth. The Holy Spirit is the spirit of truth. It's not I. It's not the preacher that gives you salvation. It is the God of truth. And when you come with a lie, you remain in sin. Then the question is, why do you choose to hide Satan? With all hellfire you have seen. With all the damnation of God promise you. Why are you hiding Satan? Come out. Boldly. Oh, they will kill me over there. They will kill you. I am a preacher preaching like this. Delivering people from place to place. They have never killed me. Where is their power? Where is their power? Did, did you hear that any of the apostles died because witches and wizards are killing? No. Satan has not been given that power. Even for Satan to touch the life of Job, God gave him authority and warned him, not, don't touch his life. So don't be afraid. So this is what we are learning of the witchcraft of Simon. Now, the witchcrafts of Jezebel. In the book of 2 Kings chapter 9. 2 Kings chapter 9 verse 22. And it came to pass when Joram saw Jehu that he said, Is it peace, Jehu? And he answered, what peace? So long as the whoredoms of thy mother Jezebel and her witchcrafts are so many. Jezebel, the wife of Ahab, was a witch with many witchcrafts. Some of you, you go to hide your witchcraft before you come to program. So that whatever we say here, we will finish. You will be a real Christian. And no, you won't fall down. Because no, you have wish you have high hidden it somewhere before you came in here. When you go, you continue. You are deceiving yourself. You are deceiving yourself. Damnation is on yourself. Because you are not original. You're not a true person. They asked for uh, uh, Jezebel. Her witchcrafts were many. Different kinds. Got different kinds. She accumulated them. There are many. Jezebel. She affected the kingdom of Israel under Ahab with her witchcrafts and turned the kingdom to a satanic one. Yes, by her witchcraft, she took over authority from her husband and did atrocities in the nation. By witchcraft, she so weakened Ahab. Since Ahab was sleeping with her and eating her food and which other various ways, she pocketed Ahab and took over. That's why you can find in some churches the wife is the one ruling. The husband. What about daddy? Daddy is at home. Yes. Yet, the Lord has not called her to ministry. It is her husband. Did the Lord call Sarah? It's Abraham. And Ab Sarah followed Abraham. So, this is what is happening. This, ma this woman took over and was the one ruling the nation. It was the one dictating to Ahab. I had story. I had a story of a, a president of a nation. He went somewhere to take charm with his wife, and uh, the the Habalis invited him inside. As the story came up, it was revealed that. The Habalists wanted him to swallow snake alive for power. He said, no, 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 no. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. No, 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 no. So the wife said, hey, what happened? He said, I should swallow snake. 
Come. The wife said, so you cannot do it? I will do it. She went in and swallowed the snake alive. Yes, she's now the one dictating to the husband. Do this. Do this. She's the power in the government. And I'm told her sometimes the city will blow her stomach. It will be like a pregnant woman is moving. T torture is there. From here, from here before hell. The devil will not give you that for nothing. So, but that's what I'm saying. Mean coordinators, leader, don't give the government of God to your wives. It's not your wives we call. It's not your wives that are state coordinators. It is you. Don't allow you to sit aside and be doing other things. Don't repeat what Eve did in the Garden of Eden. Otherwise, Satan will take over that church. Satan will take over that, that chapter completely from your hand. The Lord gave it to you. And he puts authority in you. Use your authority to work for God. And bring, put every, uh, the Bible says, re, 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 revenging, that's bringing all things unto subjection to the authority of Christ. And revenging all disobedience. When your obedience is fulfilled, you are a righteous man, use authority. Let nobody take away your authority from you. Paul told Timothy, let nobody despise thy youth. The work is given. And you, it is your husband we gave the work to. And we have taught you how to do If you have an idea, give it. If he cannot hear you, take it to God in prayer. The Lord will cause him to hear in the right time. Amen? Amen. And don't take over authority from your husband. I said, he's so weak. Absalom business. In fact, if the king can have somebody to be deputizing for him, don't say so. God chose him. So respect him and give him his chance. Some people talk slowly. What do you mean? What can you do to make them talk very fast? There's nothing. It's by nature that they talk slowly. If you want them to talk at all, give them enough time. If you say, no, 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 you're not talking, I will take over, you'll be frustrating him. So that's what we need to understand about Jezebel. Yes. Jezebel in the church. Look at it in Re Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2. I read Jezebel in the church. See her actions from verse 18 to verse 24. And unto the angel of the church in Thyatira, right? This thing said he, said the Son of God, who had his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works and charity. And service and faith and thy patience and thy works and the last to be more than the first, notwithstanding. I have a few things against thee because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication. And she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed. And them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation. Except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the rings and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, and unto the rest in theater, as 
Many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. Jezebel in the church. Everybody say it. He may be the pastor's wife. He may not be the pastor's wife. But a woman of influence that made herself great in the church and is the authority of the church. Everybody goes to her. God can give a woman like that in righteousness. But study your own person. Is it righteousness? Are you seeing iniquity around her? Are you seeing some conflicting works? Take her to God in prayer. Is that zeal, original zeal? Or the zeal of Jezebel? Now, see about Jezebel in the church. Number one, she was a prophetess. Which means she knows God. She, ha she, she uses the word of God. She speaks to human beings of God. She is an intercessor in prayers, but a witch. Can you see that? All these qualities, but a witch. A prophetess. Number two, a teacher. Wonderful. She knows the word of God. She reads the Bible. She crams the Bible. She reads other books. She listens to messages, but a witch. So that there's no way you can identify her in the knowledge of the things of God. In, in the matters of the things of God. She's an authority, but it's a witch. Yes, a teacher. And because of that, she can teach the children. Watch those teaching children. Who are they? So that they don't initiate our children. Pray hard. Again, she teaches the church. She preaches in the church. Again, she teaches in conference. In big conferences of people. She teaches the ministers, but she's a witch. She's a witch. What is her work? God says. Which called herself a prophetess? To teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. What is her work? Initiation. She will initiate a minister. If possible, turn the minister into a wizard. She will initiate other women leaders that are there. Turn them into witches. She will initiate some zealous men that are in the church. Because so that they should come and work zealously for her in the kingdom of darkness. Check it up with her. Jezebel. She seduces people into immorality. She may not be the oldest in the church, maybe a young person, but has power. Usually Satan gives them much money. They can give gifts. They can give. They can cook food for you to eat. Because the Bible tells you, or tells us saying that which called herself a prophetess to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat. That's her job. To eat. I want to serve everybody. In Binwe State, I had served there as a pastor in deeper life. I was told of a woman for 12 years. She had been working in the kitchen and was constantly poisoning the food for the coordinators 12 years and nobody knew because they said they don't want revelation and they don't want prophecy and they suffer for it 
Nobody knew until her dying time. She would have died three years ago. So, is it four years? Nobody knew until she was confessing it. Too late to go properly to hell. So, the like area of food. These are our conferences. We must watch women who are always say they specialize on food. Are you the only woman? We want other women. Every woman is cooking food for, his fam for her family. Is that not so? Yes. Why must you be in the kitchen for 10 years? For 5 years? You must be in the kitchen. Why? Except leadership chooses it. When they come, they sneak into the kitchen. When they come, they sneak into the kitchen. Jezebel. So watch them in programs. Watch them in conferences and be very careful and when pastor is coming to your place choose who should cook food for him it's a matter of prayer it's a matter of prayer although the lord has said they shall take him poison it shall not hurt them but don't tempt the lord your god amen yeah. now pastor is speaking openly no more in proverbs jesus is already coming we are we are doing the last walk so let's not hide the strategies of satan you get what i'm saying jezebel in the church yes all her activities to turn people away from god to satan all are busy up and down and it is to turn people away and check up whether if somebody is preaching she is there Otherwise, these people are not hearing the word. We saw one in Kenya and handled them before we came. During preaching, she's, not, she's busy touching another thing. Ch touch, oh, go and stand this one. Oh, and she bewitched the holiness movement in Kenya. I'm telling you, for how many years? Until the Lord brought us there and discovered her. Discovered her. Terrible thing. So, that watch leader don't be blind guards open your eyes and see check round to ensure you don't deliver your crown to the hand of a wizard you don't deliver the crown the lord would have given you a, a witch took over took over in the sense of destroying it and you have nothing even the heaven you will not go again so you check it she will want to distribute polluted gifts and food just to weaken people that they don't have power to serve the lord why is the prayer life of the church weak check it out is there anybody giving food to everybody there check it i'm not saying everybody who gives food is a witch or a wizard but they are there we know if a church a very strong church that prayer life just died yes prayer life just died let us pray they cannot pray again they have weakened them all it was discovered a witch was the chief cook amen so they are working for satan check it well let no man take our crown from heaven say no <laughs> she would want to fill the church with fornication and adultery witchcraft and immorality go together witchcraft pollute others make others to be feeling i want to sleep with somebody now i want to sleep with somebody now i want now now before you know and he goes and finds hey, him i've lost my salvation yes this is what you have to do do not use witchcraft to get position in the church you will not have it. You are struggling in vain. 
Yes. Do not use witchcraft to marry a wife. You will marry your kind. And these women who are saying, give me any man, give me any man, give me any man. They say, God gives a wife. You say, no. God gives a husband. You say, no. That one is, she pleases me well. You are even manipulated in your way. You have been manipulated. It could be the lady has manipulated you. You cannot rest. Hey, if I don't marry now, I would die. <laughs> oh, the man has manipulated you. Yes, 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 yes. Because you cannot pray. But, marriage committee, check it well. Let no person use witchcraft. Study it and pray. Let the, help, the Lord help you to discern this. Do not use witchcraft to remove a leader or to influence a leader. Yes. Oh, let's do this. Let's do like this. Let's do like this. Remove him. You have a faithful man over there in the headquarters. Is it not from the headquarters we remove people? We will not remove them because of witchcraft. That somebody has used witchcraft and has, has influenced Pastor Porika. He removed the coordinator. It shall never happen. Who we'll follow scriptures and judge it? Who we'll go through the holy scriptures and know whether the matter is so, and know where the matter belongs? Does it belong to mercy or judgment? The Lord will show us. A witch will not influence us. Do not use witchcraft to quench the presence of God in the church through causing backsliding. Don't. You see zealous people, you go and surround them. Hey, my, come to my house. You pray very well. Otherwise, this zeal, they have detected it in the kingdom of darkness. They have detected your zeal. When Pharaoh, when Herod heard that a king of the Jews had been born, he said, where, were, where is he born? I want to go and worship him also. Is it true? Was he going to worship Jesus? He wanted to kill him. So they have detected that God's son is in your life. Care for yourself. They have detected it. That you have a future. That God will use you. Therefore they have gotten a lady prepared to marry you. And the lady is a witch. Well prepared witch. So that your ministry will fail you yourself will go to hell they have detected you a pure lady clean righteous coming up with zeal the testimony you gave the presence of god shot in that testimony greatly say eh? another one is coming up no must Paul. let's get her initiated pray pray for the friends that are getting close to you take them to god and ask are these original friends or soldiers of Satan coming to arrest me to destroy my Christianity? Take it to God in prayer. We are here serving God together, but we must go to heaven individually. Yes. Do not use witchcraft. To cause sickness, loss of job, barrenness, everything on people. Or hinder people from marrying. Pray well. Church, pray for your members. Chapters, pray for your members. To ensure witchcraft has not arrested them from progress. From marrying. From childbearing. From anything. From even a... a Passing exams in the school. Check well. Do not use witchcraft to initiate children and innocent people in the church. I'm warning them and God has heard that I've warned you. Because judgment will follow what I'm saying. 
judgment will follow what I'm saying. For those people that want to pollute the church of Christ. Yes. Yes. Initiating innocent people. Wives of coordinators. They want to initiate them. Or you are a wife of coordinator yourself and you want to initiate other wives of coordinators. Because you are mighty in witchcraft. Don't do it. Don't. It's abomination in the house of God. The leaders, because you are a woman leader, you want to initiate the other ones into witchcraft. You want buying gifts. I'm sharing. I had buy some would buy gifts, even pant underwear. I'm be sharing to all the women. He said, ah, it's a friend. You are a, are you a fool? Why is one person buying pant for all of you? Are you his are you her slaves? Her slaves? Come. You don't have pant? So be careful what gift you receive. And pray. Be, let the Holy Ghost assure you. And pray very well. On the clothes. On the shoes. On all the, they give to you as a gift. Because gifts blind the eyes. Pray well on them. I have to say this to save you, but this is a church where the Holy Spirit works. The Spirit will assure you, don't have fear on this. When you pray, God will answer you. Amen. So that you will not be suspected. Hmm, 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 hmm. Then you are carnal yourself. Then you are carnal yourself. I've not come to introduce fear into you. I've come to give a balance. So that I don't see you destroyed. Yes. Do not poison one another. Or the ministers of the gospel. Don't. Don't. That's what they do in some of these churches. They poison one another there. Even ministers poisoning one another. Because of envy and jealousy. Don't do it. Demonism and witchcraft must be cleansed from the church of Christ, from holiness revival movement. Don't practice those abominations. Yes. Victory of the believers. Believer, are you to be afraid? No. If you tell me, beware of dogs, then will I be afraid all the time? Come, will I be afraid all the time? No. Uh-uh. Can I not go to this and uh, trek to this road junction? They say, be well. Dog. Maybe a dog is waiting for me there now. How many dogs have seen you and started running away and fall tail? Because power is in man. Man is here, here higher than dogs. So, power is in your life as a Christian. You are higher and stronger than a witch, than a wizard. In 1 John chapter 5, chapter 4, verse 4. 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. Ye are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Ye are of God little children and have overcome them. You have overcome them. When, Peter, uh, when Philip came to Samaria for the, with the gospel. Whether sorcerer is there, Simon is there or not there, Philip was, Philip had overcome. Whether Simon was there or not, Philip was the overcomer. So we are the overcomer. Yeah. Witches in the church, you that are born again, you have overcome them. They can't poison your chair. You will sit freely. Amen. Do you remember that Paul was sitting there fire and was warming himself. A snake came out of there and beat him and hung on his hand. What did he do? He shook it into the fire. And what did he do again? He sat down there and continued warming himself. That is it. Many poisons have been used on you, but they didn't work. 
the amen is small no wait just wait you will give me a serious amen the che many chairs you sat on were poisoned that they will call pile or cause pile or cause anything in your body but it didn't work Many times your food was poisoned, but it didn't work. Many times they shot something into your body, but you just thought it was an insect that just touched you. It didn't work. Many times. It's like the story of uh, uh, Omoba Jesu. When he was in a, a, a witch doctor, I think he was the one who told this story that he put charm on a Christian woman or at, the, at her door. How many of you heard the story? Aha! Uh -huh. At her door, when the woman and her children went to, went to church, he said they will be crippled. So, but when they came, the children came and jumped into the charm and they climbed into the door and opened and went in. Well, normally children are innocent. They're not so <laughs> Then the woman was coming. The woman came and stood there as if she knew that uh, charm was there. She, at least she should have delayed a little because she had to be there to, to open the door properly. Uh -huh. Watch. Can she fall down and become crippled now? She went in peacefully. Jesus is going with you. Jesus is going with you. I will give you angels to be in church of you they will carry you with their own hands so that your leg will not match an evil thing it's only you that will not know that they are carrying you now <laughs> so uh, uh, no, they, nobody was affected by that charm uh, uh, oh this man gave me expired medicine the medicine has expired but it, this thing is fresh now so he went into business of driving a goat mm. foolish man and i'm talking about the wicked persona so he drove the goat the goat wrong he ensured the goat should pass through the door of uh, this woman as the goat came there he became crippled your charm is for another not for child of god amen, amen. in chapter 5 of john first john verse 4 and 5 for whatsoever is born of god overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcame the world even our faith who is he that overcame the world but he that believed that jesus christ is the son of god i is, is that person in this place the overcomer that believes that jesus is the son of god is he here i mean is she here that overcomer that overcomer as you are standing now every negative thing in your body is melting away now just sit down for a while you will pray you will pray just sit down for a while because i need to tell these people about their future i need to tell the witches and the wizards what god will do to them in the book of isaiah chapter 47 isaiah 47 from verse 1 the bible tells us come down and sit in the dust O virgin daughter of babylon sit on the ground there's no throne O daughter of the chaldeans for thou shall no more be called tender and desolate I'm a tender and delicate. These are witches and wizards that have magnified themselves. They are like the queen of the coast. 
they are considered great they have made great rank by doing harm in the church of Christ but now that throne that promotion whatever you have earned shall be taken away from your life you will not be considered a precious woman anymore you will not be considered hey this is is, is our mama you shall not be considered so anymore sit down in the dust you are in, we have turned you to a slave that's what god says you are not turned to a slave take the millstones and grind the meal uncover thy locks make beer thy leg uncover thy tie pass over the rivers you are taken captive we take you captive we bind you up we bind you up in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you are now captive we arrest you you are arrested witchcraft must come to an end in holiness movement thy nakedness shall be uncovered Amen. to your shame Amen. the lord shall uncover your nakedness Amen. people shall see you Amen. and say eh? so this is the great witch that has been walking from church to church but when he came to holiness movement the lord uncovered her Amen. when he came to holiness movement the lord uncovered him it is the shame get ready for shame for you shall be exposed get ready for shame for you shall be announced get ready for shame for people shall see you young girl who will marry you again when they discover that you are a witch young man who will marry you again when they discover that you are a wizard The Lord will do it. Amen. He has begun. Amen. I say he has begun. Amen. As for our Redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name. The Holy One of Israel. He is the one that will handle you. Amen. Sit down silent. Amen. You who will be talking every time. You want to preach. You want to make contribution. You want to answer questions. Constant. And yet you are a witch. Be silent. Amen. The church is not for your magnification. Amen. For thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdom. You really got name. Satan really promoted you. Your own kind really respected you. But it shall be shame. It shall be shame. It shall be shame. Because you think you can stand to break the cross. You think you can confront with the, the, the Savior at the cross. The resurrected Savior. That rose from the dead. You think it's you. Satan didn't know before he sent you. Why didn't he come himself? Why didn't he come himself? The devils tremble and send you common man. Yes. I was wrought with my people. I have polluted my inheritance and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy. Upon the ancient hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. What is the Lord saying? It is seen in some of these brethren that made witchcraft succeed in their work in them. It's because of your sin. God became angry. He just gave a chance and the witches took over. And these witches never spared you. They dealt a terrible blow against you. And God became angry with them. It's because of your sin. Why did you go to immorality? 
That's why the Lord allowed them to go and torture you. You like this, going to be stealing. That's why the Lord allowed them to torture you. And now, thou sayest, I shall be a lady forever. So that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart. Neither this, this remember the later end of it. Therefore, hear now this. Thou that art given to pleasures, that dwelleth carelessly, that sayest in thine heart, I am. Hey, they say they are God. And none else beside me. I shall, I shall not sit as a widow. Neither shall I know the loss of children. These people, these witches are so confident in themselves. They have done evil from year to year. From church to church. And they are here now by transfer. And they say, ah, our God is saying, in as much as you have raised up your shoulder and have even said, I am, the only person that is, that is I am is the Almighty. But you now, are saying that I am and are thinking that no evil shall come on you your children all those your agents that nothing shall happen to them no judgment no death shall strike them but these two these two things shall come in shall come to thee in a in a moment in one day loss of children and widowhood they shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries for the great abundance of thy enchantments for thou hast trusted in thy wickedness thou hast said none seeth me thy wisdom and thy knowledge it hath perverted thee and thou hast said in thine heart i am and none else beside me therefore shall evil come upon thee yeah. thou shalt not know from whence it riseth yeah. and mischief shall fall upon thee yeah. thou shalt not be able to put it off yeah. and desolation shall come upon thee suddenly yeah. which thou shalt not know yes jesus Everybody say Amen. We have agreed with the promise of God. Even so, let it be to every witch, to every wizard that wants to come and end up Horemor, that wants to attack the ministers of Horemor, the Lord make them blind. The Lord make them lame. The Lord make their stomach to swell. The Lord make them deaf. The Lord make them dumb. Suffer not a witch to live. That is, you can't. When you are, discover them, remove them. Remove them. In the Old Testament, they stoned them with stones. But here, he can't live with the brethren. It is then we are waiting for a true conversion of witches and wizards. This thing you are playing like this. And Pastor, the way I'm dreaming, I can't understand my dream. Who told you it's a dream? Am I dreaming that I'm preaching? That's the word of God. That's the word of God. I'm telling you. More judgments. More judgments. In the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 12. Micah, chapter 5, verse 12. And I will cut off witchcrafts out of thine hand, out of thy hand, and thou shalt have no more soothsayers. 
Thy graven images also will I cut off. And thy standing images out of the midst of thee. And thou shalt no more worship the work of thine hands. Yes. And I will pluck up thy groves out of the midst of thee. So will I destroy their cities. And I will execute vengeance in anger. And fury upon the hidden. Such as they have not heard. The Lord said he will show you provocation. He would do something. Because this is the last church to welcome Jesus. And witches have destroyed all surrounding churches. The Lord says in anger. He is coming in anger. He will cut them off. In anger. He will clear them from holiness of our movement. Thank you. Now, to round up, the Bible says, Now the works of the flesh are these, are manifest, which are these, fornication, adultery, witchcraft. And they that do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Eternal judgment is coming. Uh, I had this story from the prayer warrior leader in Syria, Leon. Because witches have been coming to him to confess. So some witches came to him and said, some, this should be maybe five years ago, something like that. And said, our master told us that a, 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 a group of people are advancing. These people are covered by fire. We cannot withstand them. We in the kingdom of witchcraft, demons cannot withstand them. They are coming with fire. So there's nothing we can do about it. You can either, you can just run, you, if you see them, just be running. Just be running. Or else you can join them. And then stop being among them. You can now you can be fighting or can be manipulating there. But you cannot withstand them. So they now have run to the prayer warrior that since the master has declared that they cannot withstand these forces, they just want to become a Christian and join them fully righteous. Which is a wizard. Hallelujah. Amen. So, you can't deal with us. As I'm talking now, fire is burning. Fire is burning. Fire is burning. Rise up upon your feet. Send down your fire. Send down thy Holy Ghost. My Jesus, we need your fire. My Jesus, we need the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Jehovah send down thy power. Jehovah we need the Holy Ghost. Jehovah we need revival. Our Father we need the victory. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. My Redeemer, send down your judgment. I say, my Jesus, we need your justice. 
I say revival, we need your fire. I say my father, we need your fire. I say my Jesus, we need the Holy Ghost. I say Redeemer, we need your victory. I say my Jesus, we need your victory. I say my Jesus, we need your power. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Amen. 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 Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Amen. 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 The power of the Lord is coming down. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh Lord. Hallelujah. Power. Amen. 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 Destruction is going on. Amen. 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 The Lord is breaking every year. Oh yes. Oh yes. My God. Oh Lord. Ah. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Jesus. Oh yes. Ah. Amen. Amen. Power. Amen. Amen. I. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. My God. Oh Lord. Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes, power has come. Hey, oh yes, power, power has come on you. Amen, 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 amen. Ah, power, power, power has come to us. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Hey, faith. Oh yes, power has come on us. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Jehovah, we need your power. My Jesus, we need the Holy Ghost. I say my power, power, power. My Jesus, we need the Holy Ghost. I say my Father, we need the fire. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Amen, 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 amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. We say amen, 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 amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Jesus, oh Lord, oh Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord, oh Lord, Amen, 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 Amen. We say Amen, Amen. I will cut off witchcraft. We are going to call upon the power of upon God. Power will come now. All witchcraft in holy mode. We are in Iquibum. Where we shall end witchcraft in Holy Mode. Witchcraft in Holy Mode. Demonism in Holy Mode. Lift up your mouth and end them. Jesus. The power of the Lord. The power of the Lord, the power of the Lord, the power of the Lord, break it down, break it down. Witchcraft in Holy Mo, break it, set fire on them, set fire on them, set fire on them, dominate them in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, break them down to the glory of the Lord. Oh, yes, dry them up, dry them up. Dry them up, dry them up, dry them up, terminate them, terminate them, terminate them, and end to witchcraft, and end to witchcraft. Oh, Jesus, 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 Lord, let the Holy Ghost walk among us, let the Holy Ghost walk among us.
let the Holy Ghost walk among us let the Holy Ghost walk among us pull them down pull them down judge the great ones the heroes the wicked ones their leaders set them in judgment set them in judgment release the judgment upon them worldwide worldwide in holidays of our movement worldwide hey yeah yeah Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Let the, let the power of darkness be destroyed. Let the power of darkness be destroyed. Satanic power will destroy you. Satanic power will break you to pieces. Not in holiness movement. Not in holiness movement. Not in holiness movement. We terminate you. You can't do it here. You can't do it here. You can do it here. All those messengers of the devil. All those messengers of the devil. Agents of the devil. We judge you with your master. We judge you with your master. With the judgment of God. With the judgment of God. I say perish. Thank you Lord. Whoa. Jesus I say the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus oh I say the name of Jesus the name that I say the name of Jesus the name that I say the name of Jesus the name that I say the blood of Jesus Oh, I say the blood of Jesus Oh my, the blood of Jesus, the blood of I say the blood of Jesus, the blood of I say the blood of Jesus, the blood of I say the blood of Jesus, the blood of Amen! I say the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus hey celebrate the blood of Jesus Amen. I say the blood of Jesus Amen. I say the blood of Jesus the blood of oh I say the blood of Jesus the blood of oh I say the blood of Jesus the blood of hey the name of Jesus I say the name of Jesus. Oh, I say the name of Jesus, the name that. Hey, the name of Jesus, the name that. I say the name of Jesus, the name that. I say the name of Jesus, the name that. Hallelujah! Five minutes. You are going to send that name to the air. Wherever Horemon is, judgment upon witches and wizards. Wherever Horemon is, all powers of darkness that have come to hinder the growth, hinder the, the, the progress, 
to attack people there to weaken people there so that they will not go to heaven that name shall destroy them that name shall destroy them release that name Jesus 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 that name call it call it call it call it victory everywhere destroy them here destroy them in Nigeria destroy them in every part of the world destroy them in every nation powers of witchcraft everywhere
Jesus name we pray now we are praying together raise up your hands in agreement with me almighty father you say you have given to us power over all unclean spirits to cast them out your word says we have overcome them because of our faith in christ now we are praying we are in aquarium in uyo we are declaring witchcraft all over the nations of the world that are operating in holiness revival movement let them collapse Almighty, release judgment over them in Jesus' name. Whether they be leaders themselves, deceiving the people to hell, remove them in Jesus' name. My God. All bewitchment that they're doing over your children to initiate all of the innocent. God, even the righteous, they want to initiate. Protect your children in Jesus' name. Now, Remove them. In Jesus name. I am praying for your children. Righteous one. Raise them up. To do this work. Oh my God. In the field of marriage. Deliver your children. Who want to marry. That the devil does not give them a wife. Amen. That the devil does not give them husband. Amen. Give them husbands and wife yourself in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh Lord, every man's progress that has been hindered by the forces of witchcraft. My God, every man's spiritual life that has been dumping. By the forces of witchcraft. I command restoration. In Jesus name. We worship you father. Every kind of sickness. Every kind of disease. That witches have brought to your people by poisoning. I command them to in their bodies in the name of Jesus let everything become new let your glory shine in holiness movement whatever has been delaying our growth has been removed from the way oh Lord those in witchcraft they want to repent. They want to be original children. Allah receive them in Jesus' name. Show them mercy. But mercy goes with truth. Let them reveal themselves. Let them confess. Let them show their deeds. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. Give God a worship clap. Hallelujah. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. 
Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. Say
Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You Lord. are my Lord and Savior. I believe, I believe. 